people and lovers of the well-kept architectural lighting. Yes, it's lighting architectural, um, what this channel is all about. And today is about lighting uh, in the garden and how the plants can be protected as much as possible. And for that reason, we go into a garden from the Dejar uh, building group, construction group, here in Midtown, it's near Production City, Dubai Production City. Um, and on the first floor, they have a magnificent garden uh, made there for the people living here. And pools, of course, and uh, pathways and uh, sun protection ways. And But what's, what's happening in the evening? How are these plants illuminated? Um, do they have um, a protection mode there? And let's see what they did. On the first floor you can see a pure fireworks display of green plants. Small retreats were created. Sun protection areas have been set up between the three pools and gym halls, especially with trees and palm trees. So the large garden is used particularly in the evenings. Three large areas have been designed for families with children. Let us have a look at one in particular. Just fantastic for a kid to climb on these things here. Let's see how they lit it up in the night, during the night. And here we are. The lights are on and the entire garden awakens. The light for the plant world is mainly up light. That means from bottom to top. The light itself is warm white with a color of approximately 3000 Kelvin. When it comes to light, the color is always described with temperature in Kelvin. And here we have the good news. The lighting was installed in such a way that the plants cannot be harmed. A simple strap holds the light firmly on the frame. It is important that it can be adjusted quickly. We are now entering one pool side where I want to show you some different trees. In fact, it's palms and where they and how they did the lighting there. And I'm not here to criticize the risk. All I am is a friend, your friend to the end. All I am is a friend, your friend to the end. So they even took care about sustainability and efficiency. So every second tree has the special luminaire up light and that makes it very spacey and very efficient in the energy consumption. Here again is the great solution for uplight the plants. Also works for all large leafy plants. What should of course not be missing are so-called light bollards on the path. They were also chosen wisely. In this picture you can see how the international organization Dark Sky currently assesses or evaluates outdoor light today. There's only one special rule to remember. Light should not shine into the universe. This is not a sustainable use of energy. And beyond that, the universe doesn't need light. Or what do you think? Write it in the comments. So what we got? We have the sporting arena. We have the leisure park with the pool area. We have the kids. Uh, area we will go to and now we will cross the um, the playground with the basketball and with the football match and everything what's here very lighted up you see the stairs there behind me 
Yes, it looks good, but maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too much. But the light is very bright. So let's go to the playground of the children. This area is as well illuminated uh, around the park. You have to see it around the park. You can see it maybe behind uh, my face. It's around and it's only the palms which have the light. We have a full moon, but there isn't much light reaching the children's playground. Unfortunately, the light for the palm trees is not enough to illuminate the entire area. Here are a few more pictures with a better camera, but that's not a lot of light. You can see, just hoping nothing happens. Lovers of well-kept architectural lighting, this was the very first foray into architecture and light in Dubai. Um, if you would like to know more, we invite you to tune in again and remember light is special, light is life.